folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a night, great night, folks. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you can deplete your body and you go against yourself, and it will take longer to accomplish your goal. Now, what happened, folks, unfortunately, is our man, Mr. Bud Ross, passed away on 9-11. So what I'd love you to do, all you tigers and tigresses, you know, you knew Bud. Um, I'm putting this up here. There's a couple different ways. Bud's getting waked this afternoon. If you happen to be up in New Hampshire, you know, 5 to 7 tonight. If you Google uh, Walter Rolfs, Nashua, New Hampshire, um, and then he's, gonna, he's getting buried in New York, okay? But... Bottom line is that if you can go over to Bud, Bud's family, leave a couple, you know, I've been getting a lot of emails from a lot of you tigers and tigresses, and I really do appreciate them. But you can go right on this site. And they're not, the bottom line, we're not, we're not talking flowers because he, he wants, he died, he died, by the way, of blood leukemia. That's, that's how this thing took him down. But please check it out. Go leave a couple memories, um, you know, in his, uh, you, you can see this in, is right up. I mean, he's, you talk about uh, the Tiger. Where is this? I mean, this guy was, you know, a West Point graduate. And, you know, the bottom line is that uh, there it is right there, TFNN. He hosted a radio broadcast and stock and financial show. And, you know, we all know Bud was just amazing. So please go over there, um, all you Tigers and Tigresses. And, you know, bottom line, leave whatever you'd like to leave. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 79, NASDAQ up 33, SPs are flat. Gold, gold contract down $12.70, traded at 1704 an ounce. You get silver up two cents, $19.52 an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck, $88.34 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note down one tick, the 30 year flat. And we're talking about 114.29 on the 10 and 131.28 on the 30. And King Dollar, King Dollar right now is trading out of the price point down 124 at 109.684. The Euro is at 99, the Yen is at 143, and the British Pound is at 114 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? And in the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, the bottom line is that you had the market blow out to the downside yesterday. You had volume behind the move. Um, I suspect what we're going to see here is that this is going to be an ABC down. That's my take on this. And you can see, so the, the first day, okay, is definitely harder, folks, um, to to uh, get, get the aspect of, um, like, where does this market want to go? OK, but when you have when you come down so hard now this happens when you go up so high too. OK, the amount of energy that it took to do that takes everything out of the marketplace. You can see we did volume of 122 million um, on the way down. So today you get light volume, which is expected, by the way, it's expected that you're not going to go anywhere. Now, if this market was going to basically turn, I mean, turn topside, the best thing that it could have done is slam right into the B point and go after the lows right away. But when it doesn't do that, what happens is that it allows itself to build cause, to get strong again, to basically, you know, to smoke it again. That, that's what it comes down to. And that's where we're set up right now. You know, that's, that's in your spy. If we go into the NDX 100, we look at the NDX 100, it's the same type of setup. You come down hard and fast. NDX is weaker than the spy. We came down, you had 79 million shares. Your B point on this only has 57 million shares. Today you're doing 42. So the, bot the bottom line is that I suspect you're going to get an ABC down, number one, and we'll see how that handles the low that was established out here on the 16th of June. You know, uh, the, the, so, and this is going to be about King Dollar again. You know, King Dollar yesterday, folks, we don't have volumes on King Dollar, but what we did have on King Dollar is this, is that, King dollar, that is wide price spread in an incredible way. You know, we went from 107.68 to 110, okay? So you're talking about, you know, a 1,000 ticks is a penny, folks. That's how this thing works, okay? So it's two and a half pennies against 
This looks to me like it's going to be an ABC structure up. Now, if you get an ABC structure up, well, here, yeah, let's bring this back further. Because if 121 is game in the dollar, which I expect it is, um, there's going to be more problems here, man. And, you know, I don't expect the Fed is going to budge. I, I expect what we're going to see off the Fed is that you're going to, you can see this. And we, when we there's, there's just the next swing, the next swing point, man, you know, bottom line, we go from swing point to swing point. The next swing point is, uh, 120.50 and that was when it was testing the 121 um 121 so it looks to me like that's where we're going and if that's where we're going you are going to see more destruction here this is like the pause in between you get the downdraft you get the pause people get used to it get used to it and then all of a sudden you know and if we go over to the fed what you're going to see the next meeting on the fed is the, I think it's the 21st, I said, right? Let me see. So it's uh, the 21st, okay? So the bottom line is that, you know, I suspect what we're going to see here is this. 75 basis points the 21st, 75 November 2nd, 75 on the 14th. And then that, what that's going to do, you can see the Fed fund rate right now is 2.25 to 2.5. Well, if we get that, that's going to basically... Uh, get us um, at the basically 4.75 on the Fed funds rate. And that's where I expect to go. And, and then what you're going to see, like, you know, it seems that inflation just doesn't go away. The way this works, they'll push it to that level and they'll keep it at that level for probably, who knows, a year, year and a half, okay? Because the squeeze, the squeeze, the only way you can get rid of inflation, folks, is get rid of demand. The only way you can get rid of demand is have people lose their jobs. I mean, they're not facing it, but that's that's the reality, man. That's 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 how it works. Dow, Dow Industrials down 128, Nasdaq up 13, S&P's off eight and a half. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.